hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in a different setup the background is kind of messy because I'm, I'm in my brother's room and i'm recording from his computer and today's video is not going to be any like makeup or beauty video related today is going to be a what's inside my iphone 7 plus video and yeah i mean this is my iphone and as you can see it's my jet black iphone that's the color that i chose because i think it's so seductive and, like so pretty to see like a whole um what's it called like a whole glossy finished iphone and this is what it looks like oh you guys saw that there um hold on so this is my iphone like it's right here and um you guys are gonna see it in the big uh bigger version like you guys are gonna see my screen um yeah as you can see my case is from kylie cosmetics and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let's get personal and go through my shit and yeah i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button so you can receive a notification every time i post a new video and let's just get right into it so we're gonna go through the first page because obviously like on an iphone you have like several pages so we're gonna start off with the first page so as you can see i have my mail and as you can see i have like 27 mails that i haven't opened but that's because that's just like spam from like companies and stores then i have the calendar photos camera maps clock weather stocks wallet notes reminder news itunes store app store ibook tv home health settings then I have iPhone, Safari messages, and music. So this is like a kind of typical, more every iPhone has that first page. Then we're going to my second page. Then I have FaceTime, calculator, podcast, watch, extras, where I have like my find my iPhone, the calculator, anything like other stuff. Then I have numbers, iTunes U, iMovie. iMovie is a really cool app to edit videos to just split them apart add them together that's where i mostly edit my videos for instagram then i have my page um page that's what it called the page app then i have the keynote garage man then i have abc 10 news and abc news because i like to keep up to date like what's going on locally around my city and if there's like any accidents or anything like that like i want to be i want to be kept up to date then I have Agario. So let me tell you guys, I'm a huge, huge like makeup lover and beauty lover, but at the same time, I'm like a huge fan of games and like I'm such a, I really, really love playing games. So you're gonna see my phone like throughout, you're gonna see several games. And please, I know it's kind of lame. Some people think it's lame, like shit, I'm 19 years old already. Why am I still playing games? But I love playing games, especially because my brothers, they're younger than me, way, way younger than me. So they're the ones that get me into these games and like get me addicted to them. and that's how I find out from the of the games. So yeah, so I have a Gario. It's really fun to play. I hope the whole you can see the whole screen. Um, but it's just like dumb at the same time. You're just like a bubble and you try to eat other bubbles and like not get eaten like I just did right now. <laughs> but yeah, let's go back. Okay. So then I have Amazon. I love love buying from Amazon. I just don't buy stuff like makeup and stuff and beauty stuff because sometimes it could come broken and like messed up and like maybe the wrong order so i only buy utility stuff for example like my lights that i used to record stuff iphone cases stuff other stuff that are um that are not beauty related that's where i buy my stuff but i definitely do love buying from amazon then i have the apple store i have the apple store app because i sometimes when i want to go buy an apple store like something from the apple store i prefer ordering it on my phone first and then going into the store and just walking in and getting it like uh just uh checking it out there like i prefer buying uh, buying it here at home and then just later on go to the store and pick it up it's so long for service to come to you and and like bring you up like what you want to buy and stuff like that so i just prefer buying it at home and then going to the store and keep and then yeah then i have the back of america app then i have the boomerang app then i have my camera canon app like if you don't know the the videos that i record the makeup tutorials i use the canon camera right now i'm using my brother's uh 4k logitech camera uh, webcam 
and yeah then I have the camera app which is like uh, uh, just a, a, a photo editor app then I have a YouTube capture then I have this game called QQ like I said you're gonna see a bunch of games throughout QQ is a really fun game because uh, you get to play and you're betting for real money at the same time for example you can see like the stuff I've lost I've lost you won you won I do I have bet before like real real money but I was in a blue thing but this is how you do it like you deposit money here through your either your people account or your bank account and then you decide like what you're gonna play for like for example right here you can see the entry fee is 60 cents and you win a dollar right here on the $50 one the entry fee is 20 and you can win 50 um, I've been playing when I get bored I play the practice ones these are the ones that you play for free with the points they give you and it's just for practice but you, as you can see they also have tournaments and yeah let's play a game so you guys can see what I'm talking about so the game basically is about skill it's not about luck that's what I thing I like about this it's about skill so you have to like figure out where the blocks are supposed to go and it's really addicting like I've bet a lot of money like that's kind of a shameful thing to say but I'm gonna say it I have had bet a lot of money here but it's kind of addicting like I can't get enough of this game my dad he, as he started playing I got him into it so he now he got really good at it so now he's betting money so I first say I, I, I what I would recommend is first uh, play and practice and then start betting with real money because you don't want to bet and like not know what to do so as you can see like you want to um, make lines and get them removed and the more lines you do the more points they give you and as you can also see it's a timed game so you will only have a critical game so you see when it says no moves less it's because the block doesn't fit so that's your final score and you're gonna hope that the other person has a has a least uh what's it called like um less points than you so you can win so yeah so that's that so that's that game. Then I have the activity app. Then I have the Lumiere app. That's an app that I use for work. Then I have the documents app from Google Docs. And then I have Google Drive, Dropbox. Dropbox is essential for me, especially for work when I have like files or photos that I have on my phone. I could just transfer them over to the, my PC really quick by Dropbox. Then I have Ebates. For those who don't know what Ebates app is, is an app where you can get cash back when you go buy at a store, in store or online store. For example, they have, um, let's go to Sephora so you guys can see. Uh, so as you can see right here on the Sephora uh, site or the, in the app, um, you get 4% cash back when you buy through them. So let's say if you buy like $300 out of them because that's what I've bought in before like through them from Sephora and I think I got like $40 cash back from buying uh, like a $300 amount uh, in Sephora through them. So it's not something that, that you're going to get a lot of money from but at least you're going to get something out of it and when you if you are one of those people that buy like regularly and daily then the money is going to add up and they deposit every month. I think and yeah they don't, don't they don't only really have Sephora but they have like a bunch of stores and like you see like right here scarves.com I don't even know who will buy scarves but they have 7.5 percent cashbacks sometimes they have double cashback which is really cool so yeah they have a lot of websites so now going back then I have the eBay app like I said I freaking love Amazon I don't buy from eBay at all but I did I did used to buy from eBay a lot a lot but now I don't because it's cheap as sell and the stuff don't come really good like they still whack ass stuff so yeah then I have the eraser app if you know what it is and you won't know what it is but I use it for my work then I have the Etsy shop because um, it's really cute like the stuff that people make so yeah then I have facetune to edit some of my photos I have a dango if you don't know what a dango is it's like a place where you can buy movie tickets and this is where I buy my movie tickets like I don't go directly to the website of like the AMC or the movie theaters I go through Fandango because sometimes the movie tickets can like go out of sale really really fast so that's where I get them 
Then I have the Jiffy app. If you don't know what Jiffy is, it's an app where you can find like dumbass GIFs and stuff. Like, it's just like full of GIFs. It's an app where it's full of GIFs. So, yeah. Then we're gonna go to Gmail. Gmail. Then I have the Gmail app, which that's the one I use for work. Then I have Google Maps. Then I have this uh, folder, which. Then I have this app right here, which is full, well, more not full, but this folder has a bunch of slot games because I'm a huge, huge fan of slot games and casino games. I know it's kind of shameful to say that, but hey, I freaking love casino. My parents got me addicted to it. Just kidding. But I freaking love casino games when I don't go to a casino. I play it on my phone sometimes, so yeah. Then I have Hulu. I freaking love, love Hulu. Hulu, when I already have, when I don't have nothing to see on Netflix, I go to Hulu and start watching because there's always something I, there's always something new that I can see on Hulu. Then I have the iHeartRadio app because who has a radio in the house now? Like nowadays, who has a radio in their house? So we have the radio on our phone. Then I got Instagram. Let's go to Instagram and let's go to my wall. And you guys can follow me at my Instagram. It's called Marina C Beauty. Um, yeah, you guys should follow me. I have a thousand just uh, and you guys should just go and follow me at Marina C Beauty. You guys should just go follow me. This is like the last pictures right here. I went to, um, uh, this is when I went to the trip and to Las Vegas on an airplane, which was so memorable. Like it's, it was so fun. I freaking love the view that I can see. I all sometimes upload makeup tutorials here too. And yeah, I also update like, it's full of makeup stuff. So yeah, you guys should definitely go follow me if you want to, if you don't, then don't. Then I have the YouTube app, Google app, then I have iStash Heroes, it's another uh, game app. Then I have the Kendall Jenner app, the Khloe Kardashian app, the Kim Emoji app, then I have the Kim Kardashian app, the Kylie app, then I have Layout. Layout is like for Instagram to like fix the pictures and put them like in sort of a, pic a collage. Then I have Pandora, Snapchat, if you guys want to go follow me on Snapchat, it's my snapchat is Myrna5511 there you go guys you guys can go follow me on snapchat if you would like and yeah I do have stories here so we'll just leave that and then then I have the CNN app which as I said I want to have my news and be up to date then I have the lift app Oh my god, I would choose Lyft over Uber any day. Like, I've had some experiences with Uber that I just don't want to go through again. So, I choose Lyft over Uber any. Like, the service is way much better. I don't know why the, the drivers and Lyft are so late and, like, so much calm and... Yeah, they don't have this MCPE add-ons. You're not gonna understand it. It's something for games, so I'm not even gonna explain. So then I have Messenger. Then I have Minecraft PE. Like I said, I have games that some people might think are childish or like lame. But hey, like if you think it's lame, then I'm lame. Shit. But those are games that my brothers got me into. So yeah, they have Musically. <laughs> Musically is so cringy nowadays. Like I don't even want to open it no more. Like. I'm not gonna open it at all, so it's super cringy of like the kids there. So then I have NBC7 San Diego, and then I have Netflix. I freaking love Netflix. Then I have Page Manager, something I use for my work. Then I have Paper Isle. It's a really cool, fun game where you can like your. <laughs> you guys see my name? Yeah, that's my username. So as you, do you see what the other players are doing? Like you try to take up a uh, space and just build up your color and like they killed me exactly but yeah it's really cool it's just like you um try to take up space and with your color and you can beat other players too and take up their space as the same way it's really fun Ooh, he tried to kill me but he can't and i killed that and i killed that one i don't know i'm such a like a nerd when it comes to games because I freaking love games so yeah okay let's get back into the video <laughs> okay so next I have PayPal then I have Pinterest then I have Plague Inc 
It, Play Geek is another really fun game if uh, you're into like the more darker games. This game is like you you have to pretend you're a plague and then try to um and then and then you have to try to like infest everybody with your virus, bacteria, whatever. And it's really fun. Like it try to like the humans not make a antidote for your for the bacteria that you are, but it's a really fun game if you're into that kind of stuff, like suspense kind of stuff. Then I have Pokemon Go. Oh my god, Pokemon, like, this game I was so obsessed with for a whole mm, three, four, five months. I was super, super obsessed. But then I got busy with work and I was just like, lost of track and then uh, I was like, whatever. So I don't play it that much anymore. No then I have Postmates, then I have my Apple TV remote, then I have Etsy, uh, the Etsy shop thing. I have the seller Etsy app. So my brother has his shop on Etsy and it's about slime, he sells slimes and I'm the one that manages like the packages, I, the one that distributes them, he makes them but I like figure out okay so I got this amount of money, this how much this is gonna cost to send it and so I'm like almost like the manager type thing, like the business proper person or whatever but yeah that's why I have that on my phone. Then I have the Sephora app, like, if you're a beauty guru or a beauty lover, makeup lover, makeup artist, you have to have the Sephora app on your phone. Then I have the Skills app that I'm not going to even explain. Then I have this app called Sky Viper Video, and that's, I don't know if you guys know about drones, there's this drone called Sky Viper that you can see, like, the live footage from the drone on your phone, so that's why I have that app. Then I have Skype, then I have Slides, then I have Slider IO, it's another game, really cool. Then I have SoundCloud, Spotify, Tabs, Translate, Translate Photo, Twitter, Typorama, Uber, US, how do you say that? USPS Mobile, because you already know your girl gotta track them packages down until they around, arrive to the house. So then I have Video Show, it's another app uh, you edit videos with and add effects to them. Then I have Facebook app, the Wells Fargo app, WhatsApp, Wish. Wish is a really cool app to buy really, really cheap stuff. Like if you want like the fidget spinners, I don't know, makeup purchase for really cheap, you can go here. It's like really, really nice to buy stuff here. Like you see, like shoes, sunglasses are really cheap, shirts and whatnot. It's like really cheap makeup, but I do not recommend you buying makeup on here because you'll probably end up with a fucked up face after putting on that makeup because you never know what they included. It's cheap for a reason. Then I have the Word app. Then I have Wallstar because Wallstar hip hop is so damn funny. You guys should like download it. Then I have YouNow because sometimes I do go like on YouNow. Then I have the video editor. Then I have photo eraser. Then I have you doodle. Yelp. I have Yelp because. Oh wait, let me explain. You doodle is a, a photo editor to add effects and stuff like that. Then I have Yelp. I love Yelp because it can like it shows me the reviews of other people that have been to that store that's local here in my um in my city. So like for example, when I went to go get my nails done, I search up like a uh, nail salon and I search like which was the best one out of the whole like city and like which was closest closest to where I live and I went there and bet, like really what a really really good service they ha they gave me um exactly how the Yelp reviews were so yeah then I have GFX GFX app is about like editing um GIFs into videos and photos type thing then I have Uber Eats Video Star I'm not even gonna like <laughs> try like Video Star is something that is so freaking lame but I still have it I don't even know why but then 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 I have floor is lava this have game is so freaking fun like I don't know if you guys have been seeing on Facebook those videos where people are like the floor is lava so you have to like get on top of like something so yeah oh and there you go and then you die if you if you fall off let's do one more time because this game is addicting it's really really addicting Aww. but yeah
and that's how that is then i have offer up and let go so i have those two apps because in two months or most more like a month and a half i'm gonna move out the country so most of the stuff that i have here in my room and the house or in the house i have to help my dad sell all most of the stuff so we're gonna get rid of all our furniture everything that's in our side of the house so i thought maybe those two apps maybe it can help out on the way because we only have a month and a half to sell everything that we have in our house so then I have Clashy Clans, that's the last app in my phone, and oh my god, I freaking love Clashy Clans. It's something that I've been playing so much lately, and don't bother that, but that's my base, apparently it was raised. Like I said, I'm a fucking nerd, like, like I don't know why, but I sometimes feel like it's too cheesy to like be like so much into games, but I'm really into games, and I freaking love playing Clashy Clans and like battle other people so yeah that's that and that is it on my phone um that is it on my phone you guys see my background it's flowers and a blue sky the reason for that screen like that background is because um my brother earlier today he decided to get my phone and search up a photo of a hobo and put it as my screen saver in like my lock screen and i was like why like so that was like the first picture that i had in hand to change it so yeah that was it for my what's inside my iphone so that was it for what's inside my iphone i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to download some of those apps go ahead as you can see throughout the video the names of the apps so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that bell button that way you can receive a notification every time i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time bye guys Day and night.